across to Adil Singh Bopura, National Spokesperson, Congress. Adil, you know, you might roll your eyes. Uh, the Congress might say what they might. But this is BJP doing what it does best. It's a big diplomatic win. They're going to turn around and they will milk it electorally. And the reasoning for that, Adil, why not? It's their business to win elections. They've come back after a win shining. Take it further. You have an election in less than two months. Preeti, the BJP is an epitome of narcissism and megalomania. But I think that the country knows. Having said this, now this is to the cheerleaders and the drum beaters of the BJP. The presidency or the hosting of the G20 is by rotation. It is not a 100-meter dash which the Prime Minister ran and picked up the beat. Every 20 years, the country which follows, uh, it is by rotation, just as we had hosted the G20 in 2003. Thereafter, we hosted it this year, and we will again host it in 2043, just as Brazil is hosting it next year. So therefore, just because somebody's vanity and ego has to no, be... No, one second. Right. Adil, you know, the fact is... Um, if there has been a diplomatic uh, victory of sorts, it's happened at the G20. You and I both know there was no consensus uh, right till the end. All the meetings, be it the finance minister's meeting in Bangalore, it had come to a knot. Clearly, uh, you know, there was uh, enough uh, uh, of a tightrope walk diplomatically uh, for the Indian diplomats, and they've been managed to do it fairly well. Why not give credit where it's due? No, what is, what is the tangible outcome? I don't see any tangible outcome. Every G20 comes out with a statement. Just as we've come out with a statement, Brazil will also come out with a statement. So therefore, let's not read too much into it. I'll go back. Okay, okay. Adil, I'll go back to the last G20 in Bali, in Indonesia. There was a declaration which, was, which had a word of dissent. At least you had a Delhi declaration. If you don't want to get into the fine print of it or the larger big takeaways, and that could be argued. Uh, having said understand. that, you had... Okay, okay, I'm gonna, okay, we're not talking about the G20 takeaways, Adil. We're just talking about this I'll moment. Politically. I'll answer it politically. I'll answer Go it ahead. politically. Keeping in mind the narcissism in the megalomania, which we all are cognizant about, and the BJP will go to town with this, and they're most welcome to do so. But let's look at the key issues today. I think one of your correspondents, one of your colleagues spoke about the double engine Sarkar. The BJP should also respond about the double engine here in New Delhi and Manipur. There are ethnic clashes going on in Manipur. Okay. That's also for the world to see, number one. Number two, for the Prime Minister's vanity, the allocated budget of the G20 was 990 crore rupees. They ended up spending over 4,000 crore rupees. Number three, we have the lowest purchasing power uh, capita, purchasing power capacity amongst all G20 countries. Number four, the Prime Minister, when it comes to showcasing to the world, quotes and invokes Mahatma Gandhi, who is a beacon for humanity, for non-violence and for communal harmony. But what do they do on the ground? All they right, okay. Are there, where, okay, where the money has come, where the money part comes in, uh, there has been a breakup. The money that you give in, it includes even the entire setup in Pragati Medan, and that's not just for the G20. It's going to endure. But having said that, you've made and your point. Let me bring in. Oh, okay, let me bring in. Adil, 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 it's not an argument. Okay, one second. Let me bring in. Your, okay, let me bring in your counterpart from the uh, Bharati Janta Party, and we go back to our reporters as the Prime Minister would be coming in any time uh, at the BJP headquarters. You had Devendra Fadnavis uh, right there on your television screen. We're going to get you more coming in from there. But uh, Tuhin Sina, you know, many would turn around and say this is a diplomatic win. It's the win for the country. Why is the BJP turning around and then milking this political moment as their win? Good evening, Preeti. Good evening, everybody. Preeti, I would like to take you back in history. We all know the embarrassment of Sharmal Sheikh caused by the then Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh. So I think India has come a long way from those days. 900 hours of negotiation went into the Delhi Declaration. And like you rightly pointed out, it was without dissent over a very contentious topic of the Ukraine-Russia war. So I think if, if uh, Dr. Shashi, if Shashi Tharoor had the decency to, uh, to, to uh, commend it, if Dr. Manmohan Singh appreciated it, I think the least that Rahul Gandhi right. and fellow congressmen would have done is not criticize it. Let it also be remembered in history. Let History will also remember it 
you know that at a time when india was giving the transformative path breaking india middle east european corridor to the world something which the entire world is raving about all that rahul gandhi was doing was criticizing india on okay. foreign soil One, and, ra and right. heaping praise on china's bri to which in our, that's where the question arises the question is right so now why should the bjp appropriate something which has been a diplomatic win for the country you know diplomatic wins happen when you have the right political vision and will power like i said i mean i have told you what you got used to happen in 2009 india did, never had an answer to pakistan's But, terror okay. attacks in those days all we would do was right. run to us for cover today i think india has come a long way